Welcome to Kiwan. Kiwan provides powerful application security testing solutions to help you discover vulnerabilities in your code and remediate them in every step of the software development lifecycle. With support for over 30 programming languages, Kiwan is one of the fastest tools on the market, delivering outstanding results on the OWASP benchmark test. Kiwan offers you the flexibility of an on-premises solution, a fully cloud-based SaaS solution, and a hybrid solution that combines a local scan with a cloud-based analysis dashboard. Kiwan can be run on any computer operating system as long as Java is installed and is compatible with major browsers. Let's take a look at our hybrid solution. With the Kiwan Local Analyzer, you can run a source code analysis on your local machine. Your code never leaves your local environment. Only the results of the analysis are uploaded to the cloud. These results appear on the Kiwan dashboard, making them available to every member of your team. But the Kiwan Local Analyzer is not the only way to run an analysis on your machine. Kiwan also provides an IDE plugin with two modes, Viewer and Analyzer. Viewer mode allows you to view the results of the analysis directly in your IDE. Viewer mode is available for Eclipse, JetBrains, and Visual Studio. Analyzer mode allows you to start the analysis directly from your IDE. This mode is only available for Eclipse. Kiwan also provides plugins for your CI environments like Jenkins, Threadfix, GitLab CI, Circle CI, and many more. This allows you to run security scans at every step of the pipeline. Let's talk a little bit about Kiwan solutions and modules. Kiwan Code Security is a SaaS solution that discovers the security vulnerabilities in your code, applying leading security standards like OWASP, CWE, NIST, and PCI DSS. Kiwan Insights is an SCA solution that discovers vulnerabilities caused by third-party components and open source software. This includes security vulnerabilities as well as legal issues like license compliance. These two solutions, Kiwan Code Security and Kiwan Insights, can be expanded with the addition of three modules. Kiwan Code Analysis is a code quality testing tool designed for developers and QA engineers based on ISO 25000. Kiwan Governance delivers an aggregated overview of your application portfolio. It provides global analytics to help you monitor trends and values related to your applications. Finally, Kiwan Lifecycle gives you full control of your application's deliveries, helping you manage the quality of code being developed and added to a repository. Now that you have an overview of what Kiwan is and does, let's see how to install and start the Kiwan Local Analyzer. Also known as the KLA, the Kiwan Local Analyzer is a Java application that you can download onto your local machine to analyze your source code. The KLA is compatible with Windows, Unix, and Mac as long as a Java Runtime Environment or Java 8 is installed on the machine. You will also need an active Kiwan account, system permissions for zip files, and an internet connection. Since the JVM is configured to take a maximum of 1 gig per running analysis, overall system requirements are low. To install the KLA, go to kiwan.com and log into your Kiwan account. If you do not have an active account, click on the Request a Trial button to create a trial account. Open the administration menu on the top right and click on Download Kiwan Local Analyzer. The download will start automatically after you accept the terms of use. Locate the downloaded zip file and extract its contents. And that's it! The KLA is installed. To start the application, open the folder and select kiawan.cmd. Now, log in with the credentials from your Kiwan account. For this demo, we will analyze an application called WebGoat. If you or another user from your Kiwan subscription have already analyzed applications with Kiwan, you can select the one you need from the drop-down menu. 
If this is your first analysis with Kiowan, enter the name of the application you want to analyze in this field. In this second field, enter the path of the folder where the source code is stored. Here, you can select whether you'd like to do a baseline analysis, a complete delivery analysis, or a partial delivery analysis. For more information, refer to the documentation linked in the description below. In the field Baseline Label, enter a name to identify the analysis in Q1. To see additional settings, click Advanced. In this window, you can choose to use the default analysis module, CQM, or another one. You can also decide whether you want to exclude any files from the analysis or not. To go to the next window, click Continue. Here, you can choose whether you'd like to run the analysis with Kiowan Code Security and Code Analysis or with Kiowan Insights as well. Let's do both. If you deselect here, the analysis results will not show code snippets where there may be vulnerabilities. You will only see the number of the line of code where the vulnerability occurs. To see how many files and languages make up this application, click the Settings wheel. To start the analysis, click Analyze. You can view the analysis progress by clicking on Analyzer Log. Once the analysis is finished, click View Results to see the results in the Key1 dashboard. As we saw before, you can also access the dashboard by going to kiwan.com and logging into your Kiwan account. The Kiwan dashboard displays all of the information and data related to the applications that you've analyzed. In the Code Security tab, you will see a summary page with the most important information regarding your latest analysis. The security rating indicates the overall security rating of your file. If you have at least one very high vulnerability, your rating will be one star. This is because even just one very high vulnerability makes the whole application insecure. The graph on the left shows an overview of how many and what level of vulnerabilities your application has. On the right, you can see how much effort you need to put into remediating the defects to achieve a higher security rating. Scroll down to see vulnerabilities by type and the files with the most vulnerabilities. On the left, you can switch between different applications. Up here, you can switch between different analysis versions. On the second menu, you can switch between Summary, Files, Vulnerabilities, and Action Plans. Files displays all of the files included in the analyzed application. Vulnerabilities shows all of the vulnerabilities in the analyzed application. At the bottom, you can view the vulnerabilities and filter them by different criteria. Click on the hamburger menu for further options, like comparing vulnerabilities, muting them, and exporting them. Action plans are very important. You can use this tool to create a to-do list to remediate the vulnerabilities in your code. We will look at this tool in detail in a couple of minutes. On the right corner, you can select the date range you'd like to display. On the main menu, you can switch between the different Kiwan solutions and modules. What is displayed here depends on which modules are included in your subscription. Let's look at Kiwan Code Analysis, the module for quality assurance for your code. Here, you can see a summary page with the most important information. 
The risk index shows the potential risk you are assuming by not paying attention to the quality of the code. The global indicator shows the overall quality of the code in your application, which is calculated based on five factors, efficiency, maintainability, portability, reliability, and security. Here, you see a calculation of the effort required to achieve your quality target. On the second menu, you can select between Summary, Metrics, Defects, and Action Plans. On the Metrics page, you can see various metrics of the application's source code. In the Defects section, you can see all the defects in this application. And Action Plans is similar to the section from Kiowan Code Security, but is based on the quality defects of the application rather than security vulnerabilities. The next module on the main menu is Kiowan Insights. Here, you'll find four different tabs, Components, Obsolescence, Licenses, and Security. On the Components tab is an overview of the components that make up your application. At a glance, you can see how many components have a high security risk. The Obsolescence tab shows which components are obsolete, creating a security risk since they are not updated to the latest version. Click on one of the components to display a timeline showing which version is currently being used and which version is the latest one. Licenses displays the type of licenses covering the open source components used in your application. It gives you a red warning if the component used is covered by a copyright or a copyleft license. And finally, security shows you the security issues affecting the open source components of your application based on the NIST database. Next, let's look at Kiowan Lifecycle, which connects action plans with quality checkpoint metrics from the audit's functionality. This module makes it possible to automatically break builds or signal to the continuous integration system that a pull request is underperforming from a SAST point of view. Here, you see three tabs, Change Requests, Applications, and Deliveries. Change Requests is the main dashboard to track the progress and quality of work done against an action plan as it is checked against the checkpoints of an audit. Thumbs up or down shows the status of a given audit score. If you have managing rights, you can override the thumbs down and promote a submission to the baseline. The Applications tab gives a view organized around applications, which may include multiple action plans. And finally, the Deliveries tab shows audit results organized around the delivery label applied to the pull request. Kiowan Governance consists of a series of dashboards that help you manage the overall portfolio quality, risk, security, technical debt, and more. For example, the Decision Quadrant helps you make decisions based on the business value of the application and either the security rating, the risk index, the failure risk, or the maintenance risk. You can find additional options in the management menu on the top right. From here, you can manage your account and the users that are part of your subscription. You can also manage models, audits, reports, applications, and insights licenses. Now, let's have a look at Kiowan Action Plans. Once you have done an analysis with Kiowan, you will probably have a long list of results. It can be challenging to know where to begin to make your application more secure. We've created action plans to help you manage and plan the results of the analysis to achieve your security goals. To access action plans, just go to the Code Security section and then select Action Plans from the menu in the second row. Click on the hamburger menu next to the title of the page. Here you have two options, New Action Plan and What If. Let's look at New Action Plan first. With this tool, you can filter the vulnerabilities based on different criteria and select which ones you want to prioritize. 
Let's say we want to start improving the security of the application by remediating all the defects with the very high priority and in the JavaScript language. Filter by these criteria and see that there are a certain number of vulnerabilities remaining. Now, select the ones you want to start working on by clicking the checkbox on the left Then save the action plan. You will be asked to enter a name for this action plan and an expiration date. You can also add a description and assign it to someone. Your action plan will be added to the list of action plans. You can see at a glance how much progress has been made on it and how much effort is remaining. If you click on the plan, you can see further information, such as the vulnerability graph and code quality metrics. A second option to create an action plan is by doing a what-if analysis. With this tool, you can calculate either what rating you can achieve based on the effort you put in or how much effort you need to put in to achieve your goal security rating. Let's try it out. What security rating can I achieve if I invest this amount of work hours? Okay, it looks like I will fix some issues but won't improve my security rating. Let's see. Here, it gives me an estimate of the effort I need to invest to reach a two-star rating. What does that mean exactly, in terms of the amount of vulnerabilities? Great, so I will save this action plan and assign it to my developers. Now that you have an action plan, you can export it to JIRA so your team members can see the tasks and work through them. Another option is to export it as a CSV or PDF file. At any time, you can edit the action plan and remove or add vulnerabilities as needed. And that's it! You can now start remediating the vulnerabilities found in Kiawan. Once you are done, you can run a new analysis and see what progress you have made with your action plan. Thank you for watching this introductory video. If you have any more questions about Kiawan, feel free to contact us and we will be happy to answer them. Enjoy your free trial of Kiawan and we wish you a great start in your security testing journey.